All right. So we are trying to solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2023. In this problem, there is a series given to us and we are supposed to find out the sum up to 10 terms. So the series is 1 upon 1 plus 1 square plus 1 to 1 raised to the power 4 and 2 upon 1 plus 2 square plus 2 raised to the power 4 and so on and so forth. So if you want to, I mean, there are actually two ways to do it. One is that we will write the general term for this and then try to sum up the series. So the general term of this series will be TR if I'm trying to write and this will be R upon 1 plus basically R square plus R raised to the power 4. And I mean, so the things are all in denominator and we don't know even if we try to put those numbers and can we get back the same series, right? Um, so there is to be some sort of manipulation to be done here. Whenever we get something like this, a series, right? We try to sort of split it into um, two fractions, right? So uh, only if we are able to kind of factorize it, then we will know what should be there in the numerator. And that is where the trick is actually, if you are able to get it, then of course this problem is easy. Once you understand that, okay, what if I am having the denominator as let's say 1 plus r is to the power 4. First of all, let's look at this. 1 plus r is to the power 4 plus say 2r square. And then if I do a minus r square, right? If I do this way, then what will happen? This will become 1 plus r square whole squared. And uh, this will become uh yeah, 1 plus r square whole square, and this will become minus r square, right? So this will now become a square minus b square, and you could write it as r upon 1 plus r square minus r into 1 plus r square minus r. Now you've got two factors in the denominator. You, all you have to do is to figure out and then ensure that this becomes the same thing in the numerator, right? So if you try to do this, I can like you try to again write this as let's say, oh, this will be plus, sorry, there will be one plus and one minus, right? So a square minus b square, a square minus b square, a plus b into a minus b, right? a minus b into a plus b. Now I could write this as something like this, the numerator, r1 plus r square plus r, and then subtract this, and then this will become one plus r square minus r. If I write this way, then what I've got is r and r2 are other things are getting cancelled. And then here 1 plus r square minus r into 1 plus r square plus r. Now there is actually 2r, so then I have to divide it by 1 by 2. So now we are sorted here. So this one we can write it as 1 by 2 and then now you could divide it separately. This 1 plus r square, okay, let's write this down one more time. 1 plus r square upon r upon 1 plus r square minus r into 1 plus r square plus r and then minus 1 plus r square minus r upon 1 plus r square minus r and into 1 plus r square plus r. Once we write this, then we can see that here, actually, this is getting cancelled out. Here, this is getting cancelled out. Now, what we have got is 1 by 2. And this is 1 upon 1 plus r square minus r. And this is 1 plus r square plus r. Now, we'll start putting those values. Now, we know we have to go up to two, 10 terms. So, this is T1. So, this will be 1 by 2. And this will be 1 plus r square minus r, which is, again, you could say that this is 1 plus 1 minus 1, which is 1 itself, minus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 1 by 3. So this is what we have got as t1. Now we find out t2. So 1 by 2, 2 square plus 2 will be 6 minus 2, right? So, so 1 plus 2 square minus 2. So 5 minus 2 will be 1 by 3. And this will be 1 by 7. So 2 square plus 2. So 1 by 7. Right. 
so we can keep going this way and let's write one more so that we know that what is happening one by two and then if you put maybe three so this will become one plus three square minus three which will of course will be seven right one by seven and this will be uh, nine plus one ten plus three basically 30 and so on and so forth that will just keep going so we come to the tenth term and this will be one by two and now we will have to just put those numbers. So 1 plus 10 square minus 10. So 101 minus 10, which will be 91. So 1 upon 91 minus um, plus 10 we have to do. So this will be 111. Now what you see is that if you sum up all these things, 1 by 3 will cancel out, 1 by 7 cancel out, 1 by this and then. So what I'm left with is this. This is my required summation. And I'll be left with 1 by 2. And this will be 1 minus 1 upon 1, 1, 1. Okay. So now this will become 1 by 2. And this will become 1, 1, 1 minus 1 upon 1, 1, 1. Right. So this will become 110 by 2 into 111. So I'll get it as 55. So this will be 55 upon 1, 1, 1. So this is one way of doing it. What will be another way of doing it? So let's say this is something which is not clicking to me. As in like, how do I split it like this, right? So I could still look at these numbers and then try to write these numbers down. So we will have the first term as 1 upon 3 if I sum up. And then the next term is if I'm summing up, this will become 16 plus 4 plus 1, which is 2 upon 21. And then the next one is becoming... Mm, um, 81 plus 9, 90 plus 1, 91. So this is how this is looking like. And if I'm trying to like look at this, then what I get is two factors like 3 and 7. If I'm looking at this, then I'm getting 7 and 13. And this is how it is just going on. So then I see that there is some sort of a trend which I can create. For example, I could write it as 1 into 3. Then we can write it as 2 upon say 3 into 7, right? And then we can write it as 3 upon 13 into 7, so 7 into 13, right? And this is how it will keep on going, right? So now what is this? As in like, again, if I'm looking at this, so if I subtract 3 minus 1, I get a 2 here, but there is only 1. If I subtract 7 minus 3, I get a 4, but I get a 2 here. If I subtract 13 minus 7, then I get a 3, but it's 6 here. I mean, 6, but I get a 3. So what if I multiply by 2 and divide by 2? So multiply and divide by 2 will give me 2 into 1 into 3 plus 4 into 3 into 7. And then again, 6 into 13, 7 into 13 and so on and so forth, right? And then the last one again, as in like we have seen it, this will be again, you would have, I mean, the denominator will be something like a, 91 and 111 so something like this 91 and 111 and here what you will be having is this will be basically you are having something like a 10 over here right so this is what you will be having so 10 upon this now um as you can see um so two four six and then maybe this is this should be 20 not 10 sorry about that it's 20. now you can simply say this is gonna be one by two and this will be 3 minus 1 upon 1 into 3. This will be 7 minus 3 upon 3 into 7. And then 13 minus 7 upon 7 into 13. And in the end, it will be 111 minus 91 upon 91 into 111. And again, this is the same stuff which we just did above. So this will become... 3 upon 1 by 3, which is 1, 1 minus 1 by 3. And here it will become plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 7. And this will become 1 by one by 7 minus 1 by 13 and so on and so forth. And then the last one will become uh, 1 upon 91 minus 1 upon 1, 1, 1. And when you sum up this 1, 2, 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 7, 1 by 7, all this will get cancelled. And you will be left with 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 upon 1, 1, 1. And eventually what you will be getting is 55 upon 1, 1, 1, right? 
so yeah this is another way to do it as in only thing is that in such cases if you're not getting a clue just i mean try to sum up and see whether after a while you are you're getting some sort of a sequence so yeah this was your second method right and now what we have got is our answer which is 55 upon 111 all right so 55 upon 111 will be our answer if you've got any questions do ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day